So now I'm gonna take jungle juice and blend that. So they have on my just outer respawn in here. What's up, you guys? I'm Charlene, and today I'm gonna be reviewing and demoing the Kylie Cosmetics 21st Birthday Collection, which I'm very excited about because it finally showed up in my bail box today, and I was waiting impatiently for it, and it's finally here. So I created this look that you see on my face and I'm really happy with it I hope you love it too so if you want to see how I got this beautiful look keep on watching and let's get on with the review of this collection first of all I got the 21 bundle and that came with excuse me I'm gonna read this off of trend mood as a review to myself. 21 bundle came with the 21 lip kit, the palette, Rage Your Lipstick, Hello 21 mini lip set, Eat Cake Glitter Eyes, a highlighter, and a makeup bag. And that's what I have. So let's start talking about the palette. The palette, which is called Sipping Pretty, a very cute name. It comes with 21 shades. 21 beautiful shades I might add and I used bright pink one this color the liquid eyeshadow and this blue one underneath the eyelids I really like this shadow palette the eyeshadow palette blends well it blends like a dream I have no problems there was a little bit of fallout which is to be expected with some makeup palettes but other than that, everything blended out smoothly. There was no patchiness or any other problems that I can think of. I definitely recommend this palette. I believe it's still in stock on her website. So I think you should snag it before it's gone. I think there's a lot of different shades. Like you have your neutral if you're more of a neutral girl. And you have your colorful shades if you like to experiment with colors and tones uh next is the highlighter champagne showers i have it on my face right now this is really pretty i need like 500 of these because i am obsessed with the way it looks i think it's good for people with my skin tone it's not ashy or anything on my face it's really shimmery if you love shimmery sparkly eyeshadows you'll love this i'm living next we have the minis um her collection comes with got one her collection comes with six minis each mini is already in her permanent line except for the shade queen which she just released for this collection i think these minis are perfect for traveling they're perfect if you want to dip and dab in her like shades but you don't know which one to buy but you like them i think this will help you decide what you want permanently in your makeup collection and what you can say adios to because they're small enough so it's like a little sample it's not like a full size one which retails for a little bit more and if you never use it like you just wasted like or lip kits cost like 20 something dollars lip kits are like the same each time there's nothing wrong with application or the pigmentation of any of these and right now i'm wearing victoria which is a gorgeous shade to wear in the summer and the fall i would think kylie's liquid lipstick still never failed to stay on all day because i literally ate a case deal while i was charging my camera just to make this review and um victoria didn't move Except I had that little line, oh, well that's to be expected with like greasy food, but other than that, Victoria was like there all day. Or rather there while I was enjoying my quesadilla from Wawa. So Kylie's liquid lipsticks are never going to move. Next we have her new matte lipstick in this gorgeous purple packaging. I love purple. 
Kylie can make every liquid lipstick in this gorgeous packaging of colorful fun. I'll take it. So this is Raider, which let's see what you do there, Kylie. I'll see it. Um, Rager is like a pinky red. She's a coral the bright red. I'm really obsessed with this shade to be honest with you. I think it's perfect for the summer. Um and I love the cute little colorful packaging she did for her birthday. You saw like every other color. It's like a little mini rainbow of lipsticks and it was really cute. I'll probably insert a picture right here since I didn't get the other lipsticks. I really wish I had um rumor though. I think that's the deep red because I love me a dark red lipstick. If that's still in stock, I might have to snag it. Just might. But her matte lipstick formula is awesome. Like her liquid lipstick formula. Of course, because it's not like her lipstick liquid lipsticks, you might have to reapply like at least once throughout the day. But other than that, her matte lipstick formula is comfortable on the lips. You don't feel stiffness on the lips when you wear it. I've worn her bullet lipsticks quite a few times since I got them. I love the formula. It's really comfortable. I recommend. Next we got the Kylie liquid eyeshadow in Eat Cake. I'm wearing this as my halo eye on my lid. And I really like this. I think it's really gorgeous. It's really pigmented. And I feel like a birthday queen in this. Look at that sparkle. I, I really wish I had all three of these because I think they're gorgeous. I think they're comfortable on the lid. And they kind of remind me of the Stila liquid eyeshadow. I think this is a perfect addition to your makeup collection if you want something different with your eyeshadows. If you want to be extra, this is the liquid eyeshadow for you. Shimmer eyeshadow will give you some like vavoom, but this, this is a game changer. 1010 would recommend. My only complaint would be I wish this moved better with the with the fingers I don't know if I moved it too soon while I was wet because with my Stila eyeshadows I like to like tap it and move it around but with this if I tapped it it kind of like disappeared maybe you're not supposed to tap this one so I wish this was more interactive with the fingers but I mean it's whatever products will work differently uh, last but not least, we have the 21 Lip Kit. 21 is a corally shade. It kind of looks like Rager, but it's lighter than Rager. It's really pretty, and it's basically the same as all our other lip kits in the minis. So... I don't have much to say on that, but... I really like this color. I say the Kylie Burger collection was worth the money. I would say yes if you're like. I would say yes if you like love makeup, you love Kylie, you love the formula of her products, and you want to experiment with color and all these different eyeshadows. Then yes, this is perfect. If you're not like. A colorful gal you probably would not get much use out of her eyeshadow palette besides maybe the nudes so you're probably better off with a nude eyeshadow palette of hers I think Kylie did a great job on the packaging and everything about this collection so it's a yes for me dog <laughs> so I'm probably gonna use this palette like 500 more times because I'm living and this was like a late 21st birthday present to myself so I am very happy. Now that the review is done, let's go on to the makeup tutorial. 
So first I'm gonna take the shade pregame, which I think it's this one, and put it all over the crease with a fluffy brush. I'm just like patting this into the crease and then that's when I'll blend it out. So far these shadows are blending really nicely. As with the um as with the summer palette, which I'll leave a link to that video so you guys can watch it. They blend really smoothly, nicely. There's no problem in pigmentation. Now that's done. I really want to use the bright pink. I was really drawn to this, to that color. So I think I really want to use the bright pink and this blue. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna take the bright pink now. And that bright pink is called, the bright pink I think is called Pretty, like me. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm gonna put that where our transition shade is. I'm patting it in and then I'm gonna blend it later. Going in circular motions to blend it out. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more pink. I really love this pink shade. I think it's like true to its colors. It might look dark on my lip, but that's because I use a dark transition shade. But I love hot pinks. I think it's nice that Kylie added a hot pink into her palette because most of these palettes are basic. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Jungle Juice and I think I want to put this like on the outer corner of the lid to deepen the pink a bit. Pack and blend. Feather it out a bit so I can get a cat eye effect with my shadows. Because that would be super cute. Blend, blend, blend. You don't want to be caught slipping. Now that you looking like you have pink eye. Okay, that's kind of bad. Um, scratch that thought. But now that that's blended out, we are going to try. I think I'm going to try her glitter eyeshadow. This right here may or may not change my life. This is her liquid eyeshadow and eat cake. And it's a beautiful champagne pink. I'm obsessed. And we're gonna put that all over the center of our lid. It's so pretty. Mm. Hey y'all, I come to bring up the video. You're oh. me. Huh? You're mean. Is this still going on? Yes. So I'm going to put eat cake in the center of my lids to create a halo eye. Yeah. Like so. I'm going to pack this with my fingers to blend. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. We just separated. Hello! Hi, best friend! Hi! Okay. I am obsessed with these glitter eyes. I need, like, all of them. I need Kylie to make 50 of them. They are really pretty. They are kind of like the um, Stila Magnificent Metals. Ew, something about liquid eyes, are, they're just all beautiful. So now I'm gonna take Jungle Juice and blend that so on my outer- So they just keep in here? <laughs> so now I'm gonna take Jungle Juice and 
blend that on my outer corners to make sure there's no harsh lights. Now I'm gonna try to bring back the hot pink shade and put that a little bit above my crease, like around where my brow bone is. Since we kind of lost that color in translation. Now that my eyes are looking pretty cute, I'm gonna put on foundation and clean up my eyelids and the fallout with some makeup wipes. I'm gonna take the, my one and only, the Fenty Beauty foundation in shade 300 and put that all over my face. This is my holy grail foundation, foundation, my holy grail foundation. I'll take my favorite concealer from Urban Decay and put that underneath the under eyes and my nose. And I set under the eyes with my favorite banana powder by Makeup Revolution. Now I'm going to contour with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour oh. Kit. And don't forget underneath the chin so you can finesse the fact that you have a skinnier jawline. Now it's time to bake that first. So I like to keep powder on for the majority of my makeup routine. So now I'm going to go back into the Sipping Pretty palette and go in to the blue shade, which is Party Animal, and put that on the lower lash line. That looks pretty. I never put another color on the lower lash line, but I'm feeling this blue shade. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that blue. Ooh. Look at me trying new makeup things. So now I'm going to take my favorite Urban Decay eyeliner pencil in the shape Perversion and put it in the water. And I know you're not supposed to pull your eyelid down because you're gonna get wrinkles, but I do what I want, mm -hmm. so. Plus black doesn't crack, so come, don't come for me. Last time try out her highlight, which is the champagne shower shade. Looks like this, it's nice and huge. You don't ever get a highlighter this huge, so. Except for maybe Jeffree Stars, I know is a huge um, pan, but I love how she put a good amount in here and she wasn't stingy about it like some brands. Just kidding. I'm not saying the Jaclyn Hill and Becca collab, like Champagne Pop. So I wonder if it's similar to that. Let's find out. I'm gonna grab a generous amount and just see how it looks without. Um, Anything. My highlight looks so cute! It's all fleek! Does my highlight look good? I can't hear you. Doesn't my highlight look good? Yeah, it looks nice. Thank you. It's so blinding. I feel like the highlight does not really need to be spritzed with anything. It looks good, like, on its own. But I guess for dramatic effect, you can add some like setting spray or something like that. I'm just gonna layer this because I'm dramatic. And 
this is about might just become another go-to highlighter of mine. I'll wipe this away. And I'm gonna take my Stila eyeliner and put that on the lash line so I can prepare for some eyelashes. I'm gonna do eyelashes and mascara off camera because first of all I never even wear eyelashes so this is like a first for me because I actually suck at eyelashes so I hate doing them but you know I think it's time to amp up my look so we're gonna try it out be right back and I'm back so this is the lashes I'm wearing I think they're pretty cute if you want to know, it's the Ilore and Jasmine brown collection and JB. Just a disclaimer, I don't usually wear falsies, so if they're not a one, it's my first time, well, in a while, so don't come for me. Thank you. To finish off this look, we need a lippy and... We have a couple of options. We have the 21 Lip Kit, the Minis, and a Rager from her matte lipstick collection. So let's watch them. Ooh, Rager is so cute. The packaging. Okay, I think we might use Rager. Um, I'm gonna swatch it on my arm to show y'all. That's Rager. She is a corally red and these matte lipsticks smell really good Kylie, what is your secret this is a 21 lip kit I'm gonna swatch that on my arm too really cute and from the minis we have queen boy by say no more rad victoria and boss I'm gonna swatch them in order so Queen Boy Bye, which is a velvet. My camera cut off, so thanks for being up ahead, Canon. Um back to the swatches. Now I'm gonna swatch Say No More. Oh, she is vibrant. Next is Rad which I like it. Brad is really pretty, like, especially for the summer. That is pretty too. I think that color will be perfect for the fall. And last but not least from the minis is Boss, which I think is the same as her matte lipstick of oh, this. Well, yeah, it's pretty similar. And that's a look lipsticks i'm gonna put on rager and see if i like it if not i'm gonna change colors now i see what you did there kylie because at first i was like rager i wonder why it's called that but then i've been like really into travis scott lately so uh, travis scott travis his fans Rangers and I think that's why he called this Libby that do you mind <laughs> I really like this color but I want to try another one so now I'm gonna try Victoria on the lips Victoria's are really, really cute. I like it. And that's the finished look. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And also subscribe for more videos and leave a comment down below. 
Also, don't forget to follow my social medias. Links will be below and on the screen. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!